It is just before 8 a.m. on a Thursday morning, and Susie Markowitz is doing something she's done for the last 50 years. I started working here, say, in 1972. You were a little, little girl. Oh, yes, very little. Welcome to Factor's Famous Deli. You might expect the lunchtime version of the L.A. legend, but this early, you're greeted instead with the rare sounds of silence. Did you ever think, you know, years from now, 50 years later, you would be the owner and you were working here still? Oh my gosh, I'm like so proud. What a legacy. I just can't believe where the time has gone. Factors is turning 75 this year, and like many septuagenarians, it doesn't need much sleep. So I'm, see I'm hearing all the noise. And, the, and, and, and the, everyone's getting ready, so it's like this hustle. The hustle and bustle. Like a hustle getting or prepared, something, you know? yes. Everybody's, it's, I love that energy, like it's right the, before lunch. The calm before the storm. If you're gonna meet Susie Markowitz, you better be ready. She never stands still. She can't because she's the co-owner here. Her sister Debbie is the second half of the sandwich. And I always think to myself, like, what would my life be like without factors? And I can't even imagine. Your father, he worked at Nate Nell's. Yes, he worked at Nate Nell's in the mid to late 60s, wow. and he was the head deli man at Nate Nell's. And then Factors became available for sale, and he jumped on the opportunity. Really? Yeah. Thank God. Tell me about your parents. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, so my parents are such wonderful, I came from so much love. Um, unfortunately, my father got cancer. He was only 48 years old, and he passed away in 1973. Well, it's sad to say, but I was only 10 when he died, mm -hmm. so I didn't get a lot of the stories. He saved our whole family. My mother was not educated, Holocaust survivor with five kids. And he would tell us, like, um, take care of this place, and it'll take care of you. Wow. So this is our legacy. I'd like to talk about your mother. My mom was the queen here. Everybody loved her. She was a Holocaust survivor, the only survivor in her family, and she was so full of love. And there's so many stories about her and so many people and lives that she touched. Her jacket is hanging right next to me here, and we really feel her spirit here. If I were to imagine heaven, it just might be Factor's Kitchen. Take my word for it, the smells are to die for. If you walked into the kitchen right now, you would see a very small kitchen that produces an amazing amount of food. Every day you will see our chef rolling the matzo balls <laughs> into the giant pot this big. They're so big. It takes two guys to even move it. What? Yeah. I'm so fortunate. My chef, Silverio Perez, has been here since he's 14 years old. He's my head guy. His father worked here, his four brothers. Many of my guys have been here over 35 years. I'm so lucky. So I love this counter because this is the original counter, right? Oh my God, this counter, if it could tell stories. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's just gotta be so many stories. Right? Tell so <laughs> many stories. But this is the original, the original part of Factors, 1948 Factors. Yes, this is the original room. This was the only room in 1948. Original counter, the kitchen area. Before long, they came. Tables with smiling, hungry customers. The draw of factors filling every seat. It's like a bar mitzvah every day <laughs> because it's life and it's stories. Mm -hmm. It's everything from birth to death and everything in between. Tell me about the clientele here and, and, oh. and it's very showbiz. Oh, there you have our very first poster. Which one? Young oh. Frankenstein. Mel Brooks used to come here every morning while he was filming Young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles. Oh and he'd gosh. go around pouring coffee for every, to everybody. He's a gem, a gem. Wow. But to me, everybody that comes in here is a star. You both have been coming to Factor's Famous Deli for how many years? Oh, as long as I can remember. And as long as they've been open. We've been here. There's a yes. lot of generations of LA. You and I are, are born here. You're oh, from Los Angeles. Absolutely. So yeah. as a, a Los Angeles native, yes. this place, there's nothing like it. No, there is more. What's interesting is they they know you. It is like like a second home, like a second kitchen. Everyone here has a different item that they like that makes them feel nostalgic. I can always tell. I know their masabal soup. 
it's different than anyone else's matzo ball soup, and it, it is just like eating mom's. For me, Factors gets extra credit for preserving a special slice of the neighborhood. So I'm not in the Beverly Wood Bakery, I'm in Factors Famous Deli. <laughs> That's right. The community went crazy when Beverly Wood closed. There were lines of people trying to freeze their last bites of rugula. Taste this one. Give me a little one. Taste, <laughs> taste the chocolate chip. Okay. Oh my god, it just came I mean, as mm. fresh as can be, right? Flaky, warm, delicious. <laughs> Unbelievable. I have not tasted this since Beverly Wood Bakery. You are a rugula preservationist. That's right. <laughs> That's true. You truly are. Then Susie and Debbie taught me to appreciate a Yiddish word, nosh. Mm -hmm. There's the crunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the crunch! <laughs> oh my god. It's so tender, that pastrami. <laughs> You're going to be in a deli coma. I refuse because I want to keep eating. <laughs> You're about to celebrate 75 years. 75 years is a milestone. What do you think your family would think? What messages do you think they're sending you now that this anniversary is coming? Oh wow, that like brings tears of happiness to my eyes because I think they would be so proud. Um, my dad, he would not believe that this is still <laughs> going on and we always think about him and always remember, if you take care of this place, it'll always take care of you. In the end, somehow Factors did what Herman promised. On Pico, they say it was all meant to be, and the more I think about it, maybe it was. You know, it seems like what your what your father did. If he only knew how he kept the family together. Oh my God, all it's these crazy. Years, and if he had known, and I'm sure he does, that you're all together, 50 years later. Yeah, and now they're together somewhere, dancing like they love to do, and happy and proud of us. I'm I, I'm a hundred percent sure of that. <laughs> It's true. Yeah.